Okay. <clears throat> Board members, uh, we, we have called the meeting to order. We're asking that you silence your electronic devices or turn them off, whichever your preference. And uh, we need a motion to go ahead and adopt the agenda at this special uh, call meeting for personnel here. Can I get a motion to adopt the agenda? So moved. Got a motion, get a, get a second. Second. Motion and a second by McDonald and Cook. All in favor, raise your hand on your card. 5-0. All right. <clears throat> Personnel, we'll turn it over to Dr. Warren or Mr. Shepard. I'll take it, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. This is a personnel hearing in the matter of Mrs. Ashton R. Horn. It's, uh, it's, it's a both, it's a um, request for termination based upon willful neglect of duties and uh, violation of standard nine. Just for the record, Ms. Horn is not here. We sent her a notice of the hearing via uh, certified mail return receipt requested. We just got it back today as unaccepted. Not really sure why it was not accepted. We sent it to the last known address uh, via certified mail return receipt requested, which is what's required by law. Under the law, as, as soon as we mail it, she's considered to be served. Uh, the letter was sent on February the 5th of this year. So, Mr. Chairman, I would, uh, for record exhibit, tender the, uh, the notice and the certificate of certified mail. Let the record show the system we're receiving <coughs> uh, record for exhibition on uh, Mrs. Ash Ashton Horn. And Mr. Chairman, it's, uh, since this is a separate record as usual, that is not tendered as evidence. It's not evidence. It's basically the allegations that the superintendent in this case, the uh, interim superintendent was making, but it is to show uh, that proper notice was sent. Uh, first witness, I would call Dr. Tiffany Taylor. Dr. Taylor, we're going to put you up right across there. We're not, not set up like we usually are. As you raise your right hand, so I'm going to swear the testimony you're about to give in these proceedings to be the truth. The whole truth and nothing but truth will help you, God. I do. And state your name for the record, please, ma'am. Tiffany Taylor. And how are you employed? Director of Strategic Talent Management. Okay. The Director of Human Resources, Ms. Stephanie Dobbins, is out on extended medical leave, correct? That is correct. And you're standing in in her absence? Yes, sir. I want to show you what has been marked as School System Exhibit 1 and ask if you recognize this document. Yes, sir, I do. What is it? This is the contract of employment for Ashton R. Horn for the 2019-2020 um, school year. Excuse me, for the 2021 school year. I was thinking, so I was looking to see if I had the wrong My contract. Apologies. All right, so it's, it's, it is a true and correct copy of the contract, Ms. Horn side, signed for 2020-2021. Yes, sir, it is. Okay. And that is a true and correct copy. It is. Mr. Chairman, I would introduce school system exhibit one into evidence. And I would ask that you verbally state that it is accepted <clears throat> without objection. School system received exhibit SS1 into evidence. Taylor, I'm also going to show you a 
collection of emails that I have marked as school system exhibit two and ask if you'll look at that and determine whether or not those are true and correct copies of the emails that went back and forth between human resources and Ms. Horn. Yes, sir, that is correct. Mr. Chairman, I would introduce school system exhibit two into evidence and I would ask that you verbally state that it's received without objection. Let's show that uh, the school system received SS2 uh, exhibit, SS2 into evidence without any prejudice. Mr. Chairman, those are all the questions that I have for Dr. Taylor, unless any of the board members have any questions of her. Thank you, Dr. Taylor. Call Dr. Buford Kellogg to the stand. Dr. Kellogg, if you raise your right hand for me, please. You solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give in these proceedings to be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes, I do. And we state your name for the record, please, sir. Tyrone Kellogg. Buford Tyrone Kellogg. Okay. And Dr. Kellogg, can you tell us how you're employed? I'm the principal at Griffin High School. Okay. Are you familiar with Ms. Ashton Horn? Yes, yes, sir. Was she a teacher at your school? She is uh, teaching the science department at my school. Did you have a, uh, occasion to have a conversation with her back in October of 2020 regarding her intentions with regard to fulfilling her contract? I received a phone call from Ms. Horn on, I think, October 7th. And she answered, when I answered, she said, uh, Dr. Keller, I have some bad news. Uh, I got the, the job of my, my dream job. And I have to put in my two-week notice, and I told her it doesn't work like that. That she will, I will get, she will have to get in touch with HR. And so that was the extent of that conversation. So you referred her to HR, and you pretty much were out of it after that. Yes, sir. <clears throat> was there a time when she quit coming to work? At the uh, her last day with us was October 28th. I think that's right. And has she been back to work since? She has not. Those are all the questions I have of Dr. Kellogg, unless any of the board members have any questions. Sir. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Dr. Kellogg. We'll call Mr. Keith Simmons to the stand. First time I get to say that. Did he, did he clear the background check? <laughs> <laughs> You raise your right hand, sir. You solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give in these proceedings to be the truth, the whole truth, and not to put the truth to see of God. I do. State your name for the record, please, sir. Keith Simmons. And how are you employed? I'm the superintendent of Griffin Spalding County School System. As of yesterday? As of March 1st. Okay. Now, Mr. Simmons, you did not send the notice of termination to Ms. Horn. The interim superintendent, Dr. Warren, who's seated here, sent the notice. That is correct. But were you kept apprised of the facts that were behind the notice to Ms. Horn of the request for termination? Yes, sir. And you've heard the uh, testimony here today. Is it your position that the board should terminate Ms. Horn's contract based upon willful neglect of duties and violation of Standard 9 of the Code of Ethics? That is my recommendation. That's all I have of Mr. Simmons, unless any of the board members have any questions. Thank you, Mr. Simmons. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, that's our case. All right, board members, you've heard uh, the case as presented by Mr. Shepard, and you've heard the testimony of the staff. Uh, can we get a motion to uh, support the recommendation of, of termination? So moved, Mr. Chair. We have a motion by Mr. Dawson. Can we get a second? 
Second. Got a second by Miss Sue McDonald. All in favor, raise your right hand or your card. 5 0. Okay. Well, uh, looking at the agenda, uh, I haven't heard any preference to do anything in executive session uh, during this time. So, with that being the case, uh, I motion, well, can I get a motion to adjourn? Mr. Chairman, if I yeah. could, before you, and okay. this doesn't necessarily apply to Ms. Horn's hearing, just for the board's information, uh, there was a second personnel item that was to be heard today, but that uh, em former employee uh, hired a lawyer who got with me. There was a, uh, an issue of medical documentation for why she uh, was requesting to resign. When the lawyer got involved, she got the documentation to, to us and to HR, and uh, she's actually on the agenda for tonight for uh, resignation for personnel reasons. I, I'm saying that because I got a couple of questions last week about you know whether or not HR looks at these things with an open mind and how we receive it. And I just want the board members to know that they do. And if somebody shows that they actually have a reason that falls within our uh, personnel policies, then the, the <coughs> recommendation would be that they be allowed to resign. And that's all I have. I just wanted to point that out to the board. Thank you, Mr. Shepard. So, Mr. Chair, I just, just because of time, we don't have anything that we need for executive session after the next meeting either. Okay. Uh, is, that, is that correct? As far as we know, we don't have anything. We don't have anything. I was just going to encourage us to do it now rather than after the next meeting if there was. Okay. But uh, with that, I would motion that we adjourn. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor, show by a vote of you raising your right hand on your card. Five vote. We stand adjourned.